Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about data flow modeling and behavioral modeling of Verilog coding. So first we will see data flow modeling which is very easy. In the data flow modeling of uh, VHDL programming, we have learned how the programs are going to be written in terms of uh, just assignment. That means uh, based on the output boolean expression, we are writing the output expression y is equal to a and b and c like that. Okay, just by using the operators, we are directly writing the output boolean expression. Here also we will do the same, but assignment operators are different compared to VHDL. So, it is mainly used to describe the combination logic circuits. Okay, you will sequential logic circuits, it is not preferred data flow modeling. Then you have to go for the behavioral model. Okay, in, the, in our VRLog coding technique, we have to use this data flow modeling for combination logic circuits so whereas the behavioral modeling can be used for both the combination and as well as sequential logic circuits okay so it is mainly used it is mainly used to describe used to describe combinational circuits combinational circuits So it uses it uses continuous assignment continuous assignment where a value where a value is assigned a value is assigned to a data type called net so here in our uh, very log terminology we call that uh, value assigned to the data type the data type is called a net so what is going on here in this very log coding a continuous assignment should be there in the data flow modeling of this very log style continuous assignment should be there so that continuous assignment is given by the data type called net so here we are using assign assign with some delay delay may be optional so after two seconds after two nanoseconds after three nanoseconds that we will write here so assign lhs so left hand side net is equal to rhs expression rhs expression okay this is the generic uh, uh, syntax for writing the data flow line okay so assign with some delay delay may or may not be there this is an optional one okay so assign with delay lhs net value is equal to rhs expression okay so for example example assign assign out one is equal to out one is equal to in one and and here you have to write and with ampersand you have to show the and symbol as ampersand this is and operation in two okay so in one and in two here this assignment says that it performs an and operation between the inputs in one and in two it performs an and operation between in one and in two okay that means it is an and operation with inputs in one into output is output one this is what the meaning of under gate okay so assign we are assigning that output one with the is equal to with input one and input two see in vhdl all the operators like under gate and gate or gate not gate all these logical operations have been implemented with direct that particular uh, name and a and d and is there or means or or is there okay xr means x o x o r like that we have a specific uh, name for that vhdl but in the case of verilog we don't have that particular uh, name we have a, a symbol and operation we have the symbol or operation we have vertical line so like that we have a specific uh, representation in verilog modeling compared to your vhdl modeling Okay, this represents under operation 
this represents and operation in the Verilog. Okay, so now this is data flow modeling. Data flow modeling is very easy, quite easy compared to the remaining models. Now coming to the next one, behavioral modeling. So behavioral modeling. in very log okay behavioral modeling in very log that means in behavioral model we will write on the truth table we will write code uh, we will write the very log code on the based on the truth table behavioral code we have done the same thing here also we will do the same and all these behavioral modeling very logs are being written in procedural statements so that means it can be this particular language can be used to uh, the style can be used to implement uh, both combinational as well as sequential <coughs> so mainly another report at least i am saying that all the codings are used in the procedural statements that means it can be used to implement any complex functions also okay so it is used to it is used to describe It is used to describe complex circuits. It is used to describe complex circuits. Primarily used to model. It is primarily used to model sequential circuits. sequential circuits along with combinational circuits along with combinational circuits so two statements we are using in this behavioral modeling the statements we use are first one initial statements initial statement so initial here it is a keyword and similarly always always is a keyword here always statements okay so here the complete programming will be written with the two major statements so those are initial statements and always statements so both this initial and always statements may contain one or more procedural statements within a game. Okay, so within this initial and always, we will be having some procedural statements, a sequential set of sequential statements. Uh, initial means initial means it is at the beginning of the programming, and always means suppose if you are having a clock pulse in the if you are having a clock pulse um, in the particular programming like a flip flop okay are a memory element then that clock pulse has to the particular operation will perform at every rising edge of the clock pulse every rising edge of the clock pulse so that means in that case we have to use this always statement so always says that the particular operation what we are writing in the procedural statements are a sequential statements will be running for every that uh, time okay whenever the clock occurs so in that case we have to use always and uh, initially is nothing but it is at the beginning Okay, so these two are executed concurrently with, with respect to each other. So they are executed concurrently with respect to each other. Procedural statements are executed sequentially procedural statements are executed sequentially procedural statements are executed sequentially so both statements executed at time t is equal to 0 and then only always statements are executed 
during the rest of the time okay let me write that both statements both all both statements are nothing but both always and as well as initial both statements are executed both statements are executed during uh, sorry, both statements are executed at time t is equal to 0 instead so at time t is equal to 0 means at a starting immediately when the program starts and then and then always and then always statements are executed always statements are executed during rest of the time during rest of the time suppose let us see the syntax of this always so syntax syntax always so let us first write initial initial Timing control initial timing control. So this timing control is an optional one. Procedural statements. Procedural statements. And coming to always. always timing control timing control and then we are having procedural statements procedural statements okay so where here see in both the cases here this is the first one initial condition and this is the second always condition uh, um, syntax is when you see here initial some after some time we are writing procedural statements here also after time we are giving after the, always of uh, some time is given after that we will be having uh, procedural statements so what do you mean by these procedural statements so here the procedural statements are any of the following like the procedural assignment or as additional statements or cross statement loop statement while statement return statement all these will be coming in this uh, procedural statements so where procedural statement where procedural statement is one of the following one of the following so first one procedural assignment procedural assignment and then conditional statements conditional statements third case statement case statement some of these we have already gone through in the previous videos and loop statement loop statement wait statement so these are the various uh, procedural statements that are available inside the inside the initial and as well as always okay so initial statement one more important difference is initial statement so initial statement has a non synthesizable feature it is non synthesizable it is a non synthesizable non synthesizable feature in nature and it is used in test benches it is used in test benches because when you are when you are checking or verifying the operation of your code then you have to start at the initial condition so here there we are using this initial always 
and always statement is always statement it is synthesizable it is synthesizable and resulting circuit is a combinational or sequential resulting circuit is a combinational and sequential circuits sequential circuits okay so for combinational circuits we gener uh, generally go for the always statement and always should the statement should be adjacent to here okay uh, one more thing is in the very log it is all case case sense to all these are case sense to okay capital plus and capital letter small letter should not interchange okay so for example for example you are writing always okay all these are small letters always at the rate x or y or s then begin begin if some s variable s is equal to is equal to 0 s is equal to is equal to 0 else uh, m is equal to y else m is equal to x so if this condition is satisfied like s is equal to 0 then m becomes y otherwise it is simply m equal to x it is in the same state okay so when you are writing such type of programming the meaning of this one is always at the rate x or y or s it means it means any one of these should be one if, if x is one and y s are zeros no problem this program will execute and y is one remaining all are zeros this program will execute and s is one this program will execute but when s and y are let us consider two different uh, uh, variables are ones then also we will be having the same problem that means if at least one should be uh, one variable should be having one on it then only this program will be executed okay this is a simple program what happens then as if s is equal to zero once this is correct again it goes inside and checks the, the condition of s if s equal to zero then m equal to y otherwise m is equal to x this is a simple program using always whereas what about initial initial is used inside the test benches when you are going to start the program okay this is what always and um, initial statements inside the behavioral statement okay thank you